here we are we're at our fourth sea defense these are our rock groins similar material the same material as our rock armor over on my left big granite boulders carefully positioned in this case they're not defending the coastline um, in front of the sea wall and the revetments these like uh, groins are sticking out at right angles into the sea in the same way that our wooden groins did the old-fashioned groins the problem with the wooden groins is they don't, they don't last very long because they're made out of wood so they're a little bit more flimsy and they break over time these boulders the granite they will last for a long time they'll um, endure a lot of the power of the sea and, and stop them from breaking down and the sea can't pick them up and move them around so the idea is these groins are not actually the, the sea defence. Um, they are tasked with stopping longshore drift as it moves from Blackpool Tower down in the south all the way uh, as longshore drift brings material to Fleetwood in the north. They will trap that sediment, encourage deposition, and they will build this beach up. And the waves will actually break onto this beach. And it's the beach that acts as the sea defence because the waves swash up the beach and the beach will absorb the energy as the first sea defence before they hit the rock, the rock armour. And then after that, in really high seas, they'll continue up onto the revetments. And our final sea defence is the promenade with our recurved sea wall.